This isn't a game. Guys, it's not just entertainment. That's what we'd like to think, right? That the movies we watch, the music we listen to, the TV shows, the content we consume through our devices, it's all just a game. It's all just entertainment. You and I, if that's what we believe, we we are getting duped by the devil hardcore. You probably, if you're in that place right now where you think it's just entertainment, you're probably in a bigger snare than you realize. I'm going to share with you a couple of videos today. I love I love exposing this because it's just so clear to me that the spiritual battle happening in the culture right now, it's not political, it's not preference, it's not even cultural, it's spiritual, and it's manifesting into all these different areas of our culture, especially through the entertainment industry. I'm going to share with you a couple of videos today. The first one is this female actress, Taraji Henson, openly talking about on The View, which you probably already know my opinions on The View, but she's on The View talking about, as an actress, how she needs to open up herself to spirits in order to perform the way that she performs. She says that a lot of actors and actresses need to do this, right? I'm going to show with you, show you at the end of this video another one that I found uh, that I thought was super interesting. This one's from a, a rapper who's explaining about Um, the demonization attached to writing contracts or signing contracts in Hollywood. And then I'm going to share some scripture with you to really, I really, it's going to give you the fear of God if you don't already have the fear of God about this topic. But people love talking about this stuff. I love talking about this stuff because I know how it all ends at the end of the day. Um, But I want you to see this and I want to hear your thoughts on this. So check this out. What we do as actors, you're on the set, you have your chakras all open, you're allowing this character to use your body as a vessel. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so you have to learn how to flip the switch on and flip it off. Otherwise, it could drive you mad. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> because no, because it, it's spiritual what we do, you yes. understand? Yeah. We allow these characters and these stories to use our bodies as a vessel. That is that is a real, mm. like, if you think about it, that's you allowing this other energy. Project. All right, pause. Yo, she's straight up talking about this whole chakra nonsense. So for anybody that's in that place where you're like, I'm a Christian and I believe in God. I want to follow God, but I'm still down for the yoga stuff and opening up my chakras. No, like, no, do avoid that run from that. If it's not in alignment with what's clearly in this, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous position. But what, what is she saying? She's saying that the, t- the way that you see these people perform that the way that they perform it is is them opening up themselves to spirits. And they probably don't, they're probably thinking that it's just, you know, they're not bad spirits. They're just entertaining spirits, right? You're going to see at the end of this video why it's way more than entertainment, but just keep listening. Like the, the fact that this is being openly talked about in mainstream media, and then it kind of makes things like, you know, Beyonce with her whole Sasha Fierce um, alter personality that takes over her. When she does her performances, these are things that she's openly said. Kind of makes it all make sense, huh? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Am I crazy? Or is are these people like actually showing us what's really going on? I let the character speak to me. Um, what we do as actors is very spiritual. Um, you're on set. And that's why I don't I don't pick a lot of roles because it's spiritual and I'm I'm all alive and I'm open and my chakras are open and I'm letting this character use my body as a vessel to tell its truth and so when I'm open like that a lot of energies can't be around me I'm sorry because energy is strong y'all and you gotta be particular about who you keep around you like seriously If if they if they down and they cloudy and and they down trying and you if they got a cloud around you hanging around you think you're not gonna get wet <laughs> you gotta be very careful so i'm very particular yo that's a i'm not gonna lie that's a bar she said if, you, if you're hanging around these people and they got a cloud around them you think that eventually you're not gonna get wet She's referring to rain, but she's specifically speaking about like the type of spirits that people carry the problem though is that the like people inherently know and people inherently know that 
They are spiritual beings. We are spirits first and physical beings second. And we think that like, okay, we, we have the ability to discern what's good and what's evil in of our own moral compass or moral discernment. And the problem is, is that even the Bible says that Satan came as an angel of light, masquerading himself as an angel of light, meaning pretending to be a spirit that's on your team. And so you could be entertaining spirits that you think aren't, aren't that cloud, but they are going to, they are, they're not leading you towards eternal life. That's for sure. They're leading you towards eternal destruction, damnation for all of eternity. I'll talk about that more in a little bit too, but let's finish this clip. About the project that I take on because that spirit. You- all right. All right. I'm going to share with you the final clip. It, you're going to, you're going to love this. I mean, this is insane. It's insane that we don't talk about this more. And we don't take this seriously and, and we glue ourselves to the screens and we just receive everything that the world teaches us. Literally, we're just being taught demonic doctrine from all of these all of these things in the world of entertainment. And I'm not against movies, by the way. I love movies. I love TV shows. I love music. But man, we got to be careful about what we let in. And this isn't just in entertainment. This is in politics. This is in business. I don't know if you saw this thing from Amazon. Remember the this whole has-been hotel thing? It's like basically, is this the daughter of Lucifer? or something, or like Lucifer's girlfriend or whatever. Basically, now this is available on Amazon Prime, right? And then like, you go to Disney Plus and you see all the junk, all of the openly demonic witchcraft things that are not just coming for you as adults, it's coming for your kids as well. And you might be thinking, okay, well, how do I actually combat against this thing? Well, we'll talk about how you can combat about against this thing spiritually, but you gotta also understand that you can combat against this thing commercially, like the way that you make your purchases every day. And instead of funding companies like Target and Walmart, particularly Target, think about what they did last year with the whole the whole Pride Month deal, which was inspired, the whole display was inspired by a Satanist. Instead of buying from those companies, you can actually make switch over your purchases to buy made in American manufacturing, non-toxic and non-woke and non-demonic products. And uh, you might be thinking, well, how do I do that? We've made it very simple for you. You can go to switchwithcap.com, link in the description, link in the comments. Go to switchwithcap.com to schedule a call with my team just to learn how you can make a switch. No headlock, no pressure, no purchases necessary on the call, but just learn how you can help make a dent in the, in the world, in the culture by moving your money away from funding things like this, because when you buy from Amazon, you're helping fund things like this. When you buy from other places, you're helping promote these agendas. You don't need to. Go to switchwithcap.com to learn how you can even save money by buying better products and promoting non-woke messages and supporting American manufacturing and uh, American jobs. So promotion over, but go to switchwithcap.com to learn more about that. Now, I want you to see this clip. So this guy, this is a rapper who's exposing what happened after he signed his first contract in the music industry. This is nuts, dude. This this is like, we'll give you the heebie-jeebies, but listen to what he has to say. Now I'm with the the lawyer. The lawyer's like, sign it, sign it. Don't matter what it is, just sign it because they're not signing no one. Just take the check, take the money, just sign it. Like, it was a bit pressure-ish. And I'm like, why is he, like, pressuring me like that? Like, I didn't really like that. And I'll be honest, I've never told this story before. I'm just going to say it because I feel like you should know. Anyway, when we signed it, before we signed it, though, I was a bit off on it. And because the pressure was a bit much, it was like, sign it, sign it. And I remember speaking to my old manager, right? And no, if I'm lying, I'm flying. He's he's, he's phoned me, we're in the studio, and I put him on loudspeaker, old manager. and he's like, yeah, like, what are you lot thinking about the deal? We're like, yeah, we want to sign it, but we want to wait and see what happens. And like, on God, Shams, yeah, his voice changed in like a, like a demon's voice. Sign the deal. Sign it now. Sign it. Sign it. I got so shook, I threw my phone on the floor. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Wallahi. And me and Crep were staring at the phone on the floor like, what? His voice just changed into like a gremlin. And it, all he kept saying is, sign the deal. Sign the deal. Sign the deal. And I'm like, what the? Like, I dropped the phone and stepped back like this, and we're just staring at the phone for about three minutes. Like, I'm like, did you hear that, bro? He's like, yeah, bro. Like, what? And when we're sitting down with the... the... What? Yo, that is crazy. But is it really? Is it really that crazy? When you look at the whole Epstein situation, now you're looking at the P. Diddy situation, and it's all in our faces. Like, that's the thing that I think kind of blows my mind, is that we... 
It's all in our faces all the time. All of the imagery, all of the all of it. Just read the lyrics of any of these songs, right? And it's it's a, it's just abundantly clear that the devil is the devil is using media and using culture to move people down the wide path that leads to destruction. And here's the problem. Here's the problem. Too many people are interested in this stuff, this, the videos that I'm doing right now, and they think that they can combat that evil with psychology, with new age, with their own strength, with good vibes, with you, whatever. But let me show you some scripture that's going to really awaken you right now. Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 17. Let me, let me read this for you. It says, Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. Then some of the itinerant Jewish exorcists. So by the way, like if you think that, you know, the, what we see in the Bible with people casting out demons, if you think that's not real or you think that ended with Jesus, it did not end with Jesus. Jesus told his disciples, go and cast out devils. And here you have Paul going out and he's going and doing the, he's doing the deal. People are, are getting delivered, right? So then some of the itinerant Jews, Jewish exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits saying, we exercise you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. Also, there were seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest who did so. So by the way, these guys, at the very least, they're using the name of Jesus but they're talking about Jesus in regards to the one that Paul preaches. They have no relationship with God. They're not following God. They're, they have no remorse for their sin. They're not repentant. They haven't put their faith in what Jesus did on that cross for them and in the resurrection. And they're just going off of, well, he said this. The, Paul, the, the Jesus that Paul preaches, that's the one that we're, that we're using. That's the name we're using to take authority over a devil right in front of them. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And then what happened? Watch this. Then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. This became known both to all the Jewish Jews and Greeks dwelling in Ephesus, and fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. So I want you to understand, like I'm not even trying to bring glory to the devil here because he's, he's got no glory. He's got no game when it comes to what Jesus accomplished on that cross. But I'm trying to show you what's going on here. People think they can fight this battle all on their own. It's very they think that they have the spiritual aptitude to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil and they don't. You don't. You, got, you don't have what it takes. Don't get interested in paranormal activity apart from doing the work that Jesus told you to do to set captives free. If you're not submitted to him, you're, you're in a losing game. It's not going to be good for you. Like even no, with, the, no, no, you know, no, with no, this sign, guy here, sign, don't matter what, it's, just sign. it's not a game. It's not a game. You will not overcome. You don't have the power. You don't have authority to overcome this devil, to overcome this enemy. Unless... You submit yourself to the finished work of what Jesus did on that cross. You need to surrender. You have to give it all to him. You need to say, God, forgive me of my sin. Make me a clean temple for the Holy Spirit to live inside. Because here's some good news. I want to share this with you. The devil is a counterfeiter. What did she talk about in this? She said that these spirits will come inside of you, and then they will help perform this work that you're supposed to do on camera, right? Right? It's all a counterfeit of what God intended to do. God wants to be the only spirit inhabiting your body. He, does, you don't, he doesn't want you to have any of this junk inside of you. But if you're opening yourself up to this, some of you right now, you, you have demonic stuff in you. And it's, you're feeling it even as I'm talking about it because that devil knows that he's on notice. and He's being exposed. And the more that he's exposed, the quicker he can be evicted. You were meant to be a temple of the Holy Spirit. Jesus died on a cross that you might be forgiven of your sin and he himself, his spirit might live inside of you doing the amazing works that he predestined for you to do before the foundations of the earth. 
Don't, don't, don't bite the lie. Be directed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you want to learn more, by the way, if you're watching this and you're like, okay, I, I'm, I'm interested. How do I give my life to God? You'll see another video at the end of this one. I want you to click it, watch it, learn where you're going to spend eternity. It's the most important question you can ever answer for yourself. Am I going to go to heaven or am I going to go to hell? Most people are going to go to hell. God doesn't want you to be one that goes there. Click and watch that video to learn how you can secure your eternal destination in heaven. And again, I want to just make this plug. If you want to learn how you can stop funding the devil and these demonic agendas that are truly doctrines of demons that all these companies are putting out, you can do so little by little and make a really big difference over time by switching over to Switch with Cap. Go to switchwithcap.com. Just schedule a quick call with my team. No pressure, no headlock, but learn. Just learn how you can make some basic uh, switches over for buying laundry detergent, deodorant, protein powder, even some of the best steaks I've ever eaten in my entire life. I'm not even kidding. They're really good. And they get delivered right to my door. We use it at our house. It's amazing. Go to switchwithcap.com to learn more about that. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I crazy? Or is this a spiritual battle that we need to be taking seriously? If you know the word of God, I think I know what you're going to say. And I think you know what the answer is. But let me know what you think in the comments. God bless you all. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.